Hey guys, uh, how's your weekend going? We have uh, a couple of topics for you today. Uh, the first one is we'll be going over the current normalized flux graph of Tabby Star. We have uh, the latest graphs from uh, Bruce Gary showing a possible new dimming event about to happen. We will also show you a weird signature or structure that Bruce discovered in the flux data that is currently unexplained. All right, so uh, let's get to it. So this is today's normalized flux graph for Tabby Star, and we have circled the current measurement in red. It looks like it may be starting to drop again. Uh, we are at approximately 0.5% below nominal flux. So maybe tomorrow we will know for sure if we will uh, begin to drop again into another uh, deep dimming event. We'll keep you up to date. So for our next and last topic, a couple of days ago on June 30th of this year, Bruce Gary took flux measurements of Tabby Star over a 72 minute period. And during this period, he took multiple 10 second exposures, which are indicated by the blue dots. And he noticed that the flux measurements over the 72 minute period showed a sinusoidal type of variance indicated by the best fit uh, curve in gray. Notice how regular it is. It has a period of 52 minutes and a trough to crest variance of approximately 0 0.01 magnitudes. This is extremely strange. Bruce noticed that this was very similar to a measurement he took back in October 16th of 2015. This is a graph of that event. Back then he measured a similar short-term variation that was also a sinusoidal type that had a period of 49 minutes as compared to the 52 minutes that we just spoke about and a trough to crest variance of about 0 0.005 magnitudes. So this is unexplained, guys. Uh, maybe it could be that the material that is blocking the light from Tabby Star and moving across our line of sight is somehow structured or has a structure to it that fluctuates the lights, you know, in, the, in these patterns. Or perhaps the star itself is fluttering, but if it is, I don't believe that uh, has been observed before for a main sequence F-class star like Tabby Star. I actually am hoping that someone out there can give us an obvious answer to this weird signature, this um, weird short-term variance in the flux. So anyway, guys, with all the strange things that this star does, we can just add this one to the list. Well, take care, guys, and we'll see you later.